Let's not total war here, and today we've got a saving and disaster situation playing as Nakari, where over the end turn, one way or another, we have to deal with Alariel and this army over here. We've got a fairly beaten up army with Nakari and a reinforcing army that's on force march. We've also got a vassal nearby here that we could potentially use, and I absolutely intend to do so. So I'm going to read out the email first and then make some adjustments and uh, see how we go. So it says, hello, got myself into a bind. Over the end turn, Alariel will move down and attack Nakari with a second army reinforcing. My second army can just barely be in reinforcement range, but being there in force march, it doesn't add much. If I retreat from this fight, they instead move down and attack Port Ellistor, which means that the garrison plus the small army standing in there will be present with both my armies reinforcing. Even with all this, I have been unable to win the fight. Control large armies on and off tried. I've tried seducing what I thought would be the most key units, eagles mainly. I tried to use Nakari to waste the ammo of the Sisters of Avalon with with any of the other ranged units. Um, but Alariel flies in and locks down, does too much damage. I've tried to lure Alariel and her eagles forward to take her out first, but it goes too slow and Nakari still takes too much damage. The best success I had was luring Alariel forward and killing her, then toughing out the attack inside the forest until the archers were isolated and my demonettes could come out to flank them. It worked, but I still just lost to their remaining infantry. Okay. So, I don't think we're going to bother standing and fighting here. I think that's hopeless. I think we want to make use of the units here as well. So when Alariel comes down here and attacks, we'll back off, retreat to here. Now let's make a few adjustments. I want this one to move out of reinforcement range, move back a bit further. Another thing is that I'm going to get rid of this cult because I would like to leave this situation in good enough shape for you to be able to attack the White Tower of Hoeth next turn. And you don't really need any of that anymore, and that'll give you back, I think, 150 cultists, uh, um, uh, devotees. So that'll, you know, give you a little bit back. The next thing is looking at Nakari. He's got a Forbidden Rod and a Chromatic Tome. There's no talismans here, there's none available. Uh, I want to switch the Chromatic Tome over to the Potion of um, Healing, which is on that cultist. Oh, now, Nakari does currently have access to regeneration through, um... Uh, which one is it? Half Harvester of Souls here. So whenever he wipes out a unit or is nearby a unit that gets wiped out, he can regenerate. So you could use that combination of Chromatic Tome and Regen. But the thing is, I'm going to rely so heavily on Nakari in this battle that even if I don't use these two abilities here, I'm probably still going to use up all of my Regen anyway. So I'd much rather have access to just more healing. We put the Chromatic Tome on this one, and this is on a... Um, Chaos War Shrine. This one's got heaps of health, and even though it can't regen, it would take dozens of use of the Chromatic Tome in order to actually kill her. So if we need Winds of Magic, we'll generate it through her. Although I don't think we're really going to need that much Winds. All right, with that, I've made my adjustments. Yep, we've got this one here. Done that. Okay, let's move on to the next turn and see how we go. But yeah, a lot of the times with these sort of situations, um, people write in what they've done, and I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that. I, just, I have to do that. That's, that was the right call. You just have to do it better. Of course, sometimes people write in and they completely miss the situation entirely. And they completely missed the right tactic to use. Which it just isn't the case here, unfortunately, for me. So this here, decisive defeat. Trying to fight this manually there'd be no hope. And even if we could somehow manage to scrape a win, our army would be obliterated in the process, making it Pyrrhic at best. So let's not bother with that. Now, the thing is, from this distance here, you should still be able to reach the White Tower of Hoas. So strategically, that retreat means nothing, as long as we don't lose here. Now, another thing is that Alariel is on forced march now, so her army is a little bit weaker. We've got a Valiant defeat, which still means that the odds are in their favor, but it's less bad. Also, because Safari is the commanding force here, we've lost the ability to seduce their units. I think that's a worthy loss, because it costs money to do it anyway. That way you've got more money left over. And there's a decent number of units in here that we can essentially use as a meat shield. All right, now, the question here remains, do we control large army or not? I think we'll get better results if we don't control large army, because... All of these units here will be prevented from showing up at the start. 
And uh, if we do well enough against the first army, these ones here shouldn't matter at all. Anyway, let's jump in and see what we can do. Because this is what I want to do. This is why I demolished that cult. I want to make sure that not only do we win this battle, but that I can hand this army back to the guy in such good shape that he's not at all concerned about attacking the White Tower of Poeth. So not only do we want to win this tactically, but I want to win it strategically as well. Now, at the beginning of the battle, I'm going to be focusing on just trying to win the battle. But when I feel like the situation has turned in our favor, I'm then going to start making decisions more about winning the war, such as best use the Safra units before our own. All right, so... Nakari's coming in from here. You're coming in from there. Okay, bring this one over. That'll take... It'll take a few minutes, but that's fine. Don't think anything's going to start before then anyway. Now, here's another thing. We're going to take the cultist, which can't hide, and bring it around over here. Because if I leave it in this area here, I won't be able to pull off sort of like third maneuver that I want to do. Nakari's going to come over here and try to get Alariel to charge at the main force over here. And I'll just try to eliminate her. Apparently she's very tanky and she does have access to regen, so we've got a fair bit to take her off. And, but we've got some debuffing stuff that we can do. But the rest of our troops, apart from the cultist, can hide in the forest. So I want them ready here. Once these guys have fully committed to the, to the fight against Safari, they should have a bunch of missile units sitting basically unprotected. We come out of the forest, hit them in the ass really quickly, and just plow right through them. Their reinforcements will take too long to get over here, and then that'll hopefully just be that. That's the plan anyway. We ready to execute it? Alright, so Nakari, get over here, and you get over here. And as for these... Yep. So we have got absolute fuck all magic. We can generate technically kind of unlimited, apart from the fact that this will eventually miscast her to death. But with the miscast, you want to make sure you're not sitting... Oh, God damn it. Not sitting in amongst other units, because it does do some damage to them. Alright, Alariel's come in. We need to get her attention and bring her towards Safari. The sooner the better. These ones, just chill over here. Now, if we left the cultist in there, then they'll aim it, aim for it. But if I bring it over here, they have no idea about these other units. Also, the cultist has got some pretty good abilities. If I can get it into melee with something crap, and... Uh... Okay, here we go. I think we got Alaria's attention. Summon some demonettes, that'll definitely help. Alright, balance of power is slightly in our favor at the moment. But the quality of their reinforcements is greater than ours. Because, yeah, all we've got is. Yeah, mostly just trash. Okay, here we go. Bring them in. Don't fall back too far, because we're faster than her. She's on Force March. Oh, they didn't all come in. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe it's because this army here is technically the first one that's supposed to come in. Maybe that's why. The thing is, those units would be more useful, so I might actually... I've actually got the opportunity to withdraw my units, which is weird because it's a settlement battle. So when these guys start coming in, I think I'll withdraw those Marauders, because they're damaged anyway. Because I'd much rather bring in the Cavalry to begin with. Right, bring them in. You're over there, that's good. Pop that. Oh, again! Oh, well, there's one in four chance of that happening. Yeah, 50-50 plus 50-50 again. That's it, come on, Alario. Alright, we'll fight her about here. Just wait for it to land. Okay, there we go. And debuffer. Right, you go in there and you can fight that eagle. That's fine. All right, okay, good. Now that they've got some spearmen in there, let's try to get some charge bonuses in on Alariel. Good, and we're sort of hitting her ass there as well. Oh, this one's fucking flying. 
Uh, fuckers, don't you dare advance. No, no, I need you here. <laughs> I'm supposed to flank them if you move too far forward this way. Alright, withdraw these ones here from the battlefield. Because I want to bring in more of these guys. Alario's going down, that's looking good. But this one here doesn't want to do anything. Well, at least they prevented these guys here from moving forward enough to actually smack Alario. So I guess I gotta be grateful for that. Before she casts another one of those spells. This will do. Move it. What is going on with this eagle? Alright. Start bringing our guys in here, but don't give away the game completely just yet. Here we go. Good, we've almost got rid of Alariel. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, make sure Alariel goes down. Plus, we'll get some regen if she does. Right, don't chuck our forces in just yet. Wait for them to fully commit. Don't let her fly back up. Come on, move, move, move. Fucking... She's probably going to come back. Okay, just wait. Yeah, she's popping down those earth bloods. Okay. Keep fighting. You've almost got it. Alright, don't advance. Okay. Here we go. Now we advance. They've committed their forces. Now we, we get in there and hit them in the rear. How are you doing? Yep. That's eagle. Yeah, yeah, keep fighting it. Don't really care that much about magic. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. And we got the Harvester of Souls. Good, good. Got this as well, but if I cast this, I want to send it out this way. I'll, I'll use it a little bit later. Mm, actually, no, no, get over here. I need to start using this now, because it's not going to rack up the other ones. Let's go, go, go. Surprise. Okay, Cavalry need to go after the missile units. And I'll send... The Marauders to go after those Spearmen, and the Demonettes to go at the back here. Actually, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just back off from that. Okay, I want Nakari to try and kill single entities, try not to get shot. So we should have all the missile units pinned down in just a moment. No, this eagle doesn't want to let you have any fun. No, move back from that. Move back. I think the cavalry's doing alright. We don't want them fighting white lions of Kreis. Okay, good. This is all falling to pieces over here. Because now I'm thinking... Let's Safari fight these guys. Yeah, move these guys out of there. Yeah, let's Safari fight all the hard stuff. Okay, I need you to kill this lord. Actually, no, no, don't let this one here get away. Okay. Enemy reinforcements are coming in. Our army is in excellent shape. We barely took any damage in this, which is exactly what we want. Good, that character's gone. Now take out this one. Got these abilities over here, but can, um, popping it down on units that aren't in melee is a complete waste. Alright, turn around. Time to fight them. Good. Can we just keep mopping this stuff up? Make sure we wipe out as many units as possible, so that way you don't have to fight them next turn. Right. Put these down. Alright, you can move up. I don't think we need any more magic, so I'm not going to worry about the chromatic tome. Oh, 
they're shooting at the Lord there. That's actually they're not doing too bad. All right, let them keep doing that. It's not doing a bad job. It's fine. All right. Well, okay. We got Sisters of Avalon over here. Let's get them back and get all of our infantry back now as well. Let's let oh shit. Let Safari take the fucking damage. Now I feel like I've won the battle. That maneuver went really well. We barely took any damage at all. Barely. So now I'm thinking about the campaign. I want to make sure that our army is in tip top shape for our fight against um Do we have any more reinforcements? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna withdraw a damage unit of infantry. Like one of these guys. Just get him over here. Make sure our army's in tip top shape for the White Tower of Hoeth. Okay, Nakari's in good shape as well. Still got, you know, still got some magic. We've got these abilities here as well. Whatever. I didn't need to use up the potion of healing either, but it's there in case I need it. Right, now I'm not going to do nothing to help Safari. I'm just not going to endanger my army to help them. Because they've gone from being my hammer to being my meat shield. My job's going to be focused on mopping up any stragglers, not to die for the, for the win. That's fine. Okay, we've also got the summons to use, finally. Move that back before you get shot too much. Oh, crap. Okay, we need to try to get around that one. Yeah, they're intent on taking us out here. Let's do something about that. No, we're not going to be able to get at them without taking a lot of damage. Alright, you can withdraw. How are we going over here? Yeah, keep chasing that down. It's fine. Okay, you guys move back, back into the forest there. All right, our other unit should be coming in any moment now. How's this going? Okay, so far so good. All right, we've got an eagle coming in, but Nakari should have no trouble fighting that as long as he's only fighting that, not fighting anything else. I think we have to wait until the summons go up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bring this guy in, put him into this control group, move him over this way. Don't worry about them right now. We could assist Safari, for sure. Absolutely could. But the bounce power's in our favor, so... I'm gonna wait. Safari's still got a few units left over here. Mm, these Sisters of Avalon are giving Safari a bit of a hard time. Fair few units here that could be a bit of an issue. Yeah, let's let's bail on that position. Okay, let's go to those sisters before they start shooting at us. Which they're immediately gonna start shooting. Move that one back. Move around a little bit. If it's the one getting shot, at least try to take less damage. <laughs> trying to get at it without taking any damage, it's just they're not letting me do that. As soon as somebody gets in there, stop it from shooting. There we go. Got it. Let's get Nakari back over here. We've also got this greater gate of Slanesh as well we can use. Still to kill this one as well. Alright, just because we're sending cavalry in against Sisters of Avalon, we've got to keep in mind that Sisters of Avalon are really good troops. We should try to debuff them a little bit. Where's this one? Get him over here. Okay, nearly killed their lord. With this one, that's the actual command of the battle, so that'll cause them to um, take morale penalty as soon as it's actually dead. Okay, 
Alright, let's use that potion of healing. God damn it, our cavalry is losing to the Sisters of Avalon in melee. We need to cycle the charge a little bit. God damn it, not giving me a chance there to kill that one. Move back. This will kill her. Didn't want to have to do that. I guess it had to be done. Oh, no, it won't kill her. Damn it. It's not good. It's not strong enough. God damn it. Damn it. How am I going to kill her then? I'm just going to have to go for one last charge in that. Hope that it actually hits. Come on, hit. Man, this was an expensive push. There we go, she's gone. I'm getting the curry out of that. Move back. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, how's everything going? Yep, we still got our reserves over here. Good, no problems there. And our cavalry took a little bit of damage, but they took out Sisters of Avalon, so that's worth it. Okay, move back. Try to get around the flank of them again if we can. Bounce of power is looking good. Now, here's the thing about the situation. What I'm doing here is going to ensure that we get a worse result in this battle. But our forces will be in better shape. Because what I'm trying to do here is ensuring that it's Safari that takes all the damage, not our troops. Okay, I think now might be a good time to use that. Greater summon. I do actually want to fight you, but I just want, don't want to fight them near the, uh, near the bloody archers. Because that's what he said would be the problem. You get pinned down fighting a single entity like this, and then the archers just absolutely shred you. Okay, there we go. Alright, Safari is just about finished. Okay, good, that eagle's gone. So we really need to get that army losses now. Okay, let's push our guys back in, because they're, they're pretty bloody exhausted. We've maneuvered around their back. Okay, well, fucking sisters. We need that army losses now. They're just trying to pin me down. Move, 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 move. Okay, they're shooting at the cultists. Move her back. Okay, advance everyone. Because, yeah, it seems like Safri doesn't have enough left to assist. Okay, all the sisters are going down. Still no army losses. Okay, this cavalry unit here is in bad shape. Let's pull it out. There we go. There's the army losses. All right, cool. All right. Bit of damage on our unit, especially on our cavalry. But here's the thing. It's okay if the cavalry is a bit damaged because we don't need them for the White Terror for with fire. Now, what happened to those... Yeah, there they are. The uh, Treekin. Go take them out. Mop up everything else here that we can. But the infantry is in pretty damn good shape, I think. So hopefully, in the coming fight, you'll be fine. It's just weird sometimes having to do this kind of stuff. Like, you're winning the battle, and then you deliberately pull your own forces back to get a worse result, but it's so that your vassal takes the damage. Because they're not going to come and help us out. Only in this battle here. They'll get plenty of time to recover. They don't, they don't matter. We'll take them out. Okay, 
That's a dead unit. Try to take out some Treekin. It looks like most of the Sisters of Avalon are going to be torn to shreds. Don't let those Silver and Guard get away. We're not going to be able to reach that one. Maybe I should have used that on, on that, but even then... If, if they stand still, the problem is... If you use something that makes them pin down, they actually turn back around and fight. Which would have happened over here. But those were just Silver Helms. They're not going to do anything. Whereas these guys here can actually hit pretty hard. Okay. This is weird. Still find it weird just knowing. We could have gotten a much better result, but would have done more damage to our own army if I hadn't pulled back. But I know it was the right call because I was thinking about the campaign rather than the battle. Because the battle was won after the first charge in the, in the rear. There we go. Anything else that needs to be killed? No, that's all dead. Dead. Uh, probably not going to catch that in time. And so we take a grand total of about 152 kills. Well, you know, uh, deaths, I mean. Safari took the brunt of the damage. Most of the enemy forces are gone. I think we took out every single one of their heroes. You also didn't need any seducing. Alright, so having a look at that. Yep, no units got wiped out. And I think, given that we want him to push on and capture um, uh, the White Tower of Hoeth, and considering Slanesh normally has fairly low replenishment, I think a bit of extra devour captives, just to get a bit of extra troops, would go a long way here. Also, I can see that this guy here just got a horse. That's going to make him really good at capturing the White Tower of Hoeth. If you, you know, want to do it that way. Single entities on horses are amazing at capturing cities. If the enemy doesn't have particularly fast units, this is basically a conclusion right from the get-go. Um, Alright, so we win a battle and naturally AI declares war. Other AI declares war on us. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Main focus needs to be on taking out Alariel. Because it seems like even after that uh, victory against them, they've still got more force than what you've got in total. Them having the Sword of Cain is not great because they're going to likely lose to somebody else that's going to be your enemy and then just essentially give them the Sword of Cain. Hopefully Alariel doesn't get it. Well, Alariel's going to be wounded now for a few turns. Now is a great time to just take as much territory as you can when their Legendary Lord's gone. Don't sit around and try to recover. Make sure they can't recover. If you can get to Avalon before Alariel recovers, she'll never fully recover because she won't be able to get good units again. Alright, let's have a look at the situation here. So the replenishment rate was pretty bad, but I'd say that the army is in better shape than it was going into that fight. So that's that's all you can really hope for. You know, decent amount of replenishment. Now, looking here, with 145 move points, yeah, you should easily be able to reach the White Tower of Hoth. I was a little bit concerned having backed off that it was not going to reach us, that we weren't going to reach White Tower of Hoth. Also, Looking at this, 
It seems like you've got three separate battles to go here. Hip hop all the way there. Um, which is good because that way they're not reinforcing each other, just easy victories every step of the way. And you can actually probably recover even more on the way there. Or maybe get up to get some more devotees. And of course, we got rid of the cult. So, because when you capture that settlement, the cult isn't going to remain, so that way you got the devotees back, which, that's a very valuable resource, especially in the early stages of the campaign. Are you at a point where you can get a devotee army yet? Mm, no, there's no, there's no Slanesh. Oh, I see what happened here. Because they are untainted, it added untainted to the area. Doesn't matter, you probably wouldn't have had enough to uh, call a devotee army there anyway. But your situation looks pretty clean to charge in here. This guy got four levels up on that. Charge in through here. Easily beat these. This is two easy fights and then an easy fight at the White Tower of Hoeth. None of this... None of this should be a problem for you. You'll easily capture this. And if we have a look at the war... Yeah, you're actually stronger than her now. Okay, cool. So, your war against Avalon is won as long as you take advantage of this and be aggressive. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I think the main thing to take away from this was that sometimes it'll seem like I'm doing something stupid on the battlefield, and it does seem stupid, because I'm going to get a worse result by doing these maneuvers. But the planning is so that on the campaign map, we can do more in the next turn by keeping more units in reserve, keeping them healthy, thinking about the next battle. Who cares what happened to Safari? They don't matter. They're not going to participate in any future fights against Avalon that are actually going to matter. So what damage was done to them is irrelevant and that's what i was thinking about during that fight anyway that's the end of this one here guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something appreciate you and we'll see you next time later guys